Jesus Christ, Tony Romo sucks. Hey, honey. Six. Oh, God. What's up? You know, she's pretty. Who's that? You never mentioned that before. Oh, Laura? Yeah, I think you described her as like, whatever. I don't remember. Oh, I bet. Michael, look at me. Look at me. You never mentioned anything about her before tonight. But I think you know that. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I mean, what did you think would happen tonight? Seriously. Did you think I just wouldn't notice all of that? I didn't think anything because there was nothing to notice, I mean. Yeah, you're a terrible liar. Because maybe I don't lie. Michael, she likes you. And you like her. You know, of course you're not going to want to talk to me about it. Where does that come from? My eyes. She was the only one you talked to all night long. So I'm thinking 11 hours a day, five, six times a week, 60 hours a week with her for three months now. You know, when you do your little articles and you work with the people you work with, I don't hear about you for hours. And when you go on your little trips, I don't know about it. Do I say anything to you? No, I don't. Michael, have I ever sat here and made you feel the way I'm feeling right now? You know, I, I looked through a window tonight and I saw something that I didn't need to see. Couldn't you have just watched yourself and spared me this moment? You know, I haven't done anything. I just think you just want to pick a fight tonight, that's all. No, I'd spare you. I would. What does that mean? What's with the face? The face, Michael, is sad. Listen, Joanna. Did she is going with you and Andy to Philadelphia tomorrow, right? Yes. She worked on the Monroe properties with us, remember? Come on, what's with her face? I told you. Listen, look at me, look at me. There's nothing going on. Nothing whatsoever. She just happens to work with me, that's all. Watch your game, huh? Michael, I'm not blaming you for being attracted to her. I mean, she's attractive. You know, and I know it's all natural to crave something new. Then what are you blaming me for? For going out of your way to not admitting it to me. I thought I just did. That's not what I meant. Listen. Leave me alone. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, you quarter me, you make me admit to something I haven't done, and now you're gonna sleep in the couch, right? Freaking fantastic. Jesus Christ.